So I made a video a couple years ago about why, when, and how to divide daffodils. And that video got a lot of traction, but I also got a lot of comments asking why the video needed to be 25 minutes long. So here's the concise version. Okay, so why do you want to divide daffodils? Two main reasons. Number one, because if you divide a big old clump of daffodils like this, you might dig up, say, 100 bulbs or quite a lot of bulbs. And if you replant them in much smaller groups, you can spread those daffodils all around your garden and have lots of little clumps and just spread that garden cheer. And it'll be a lot more effective. You'll have a mass planting. You'll have a really nice display in the spring and it'll just look a lot better. And the other benefit is that the flowering will actually be improved if you do that because if your daffodils get too congested they can actually do what's called going blind which means that they'll stop flowering and in the spring you'll just see a lot of green a lot of leaves not a great display and if you spread them around give them a little bit of breathing room they'll take a year or two to bed in and establish but once they do they'll actually flower better so basically you'll have more daffodils that'll flower better and look better overall if you divide your daffodils so when do you actually want to divide your daffodils? Well, the best time is typically between about six weeks to two months after they've flowered. Here in Michigan, it's currently mid-June, and this is really a good time to do this. Here's a clump of daffodils as an example. And as you can see, there is still some green on the leaves, but the leaves have actually started to die down quite a bit. There's a lot of yellow on this clump, and some of the leaves are turning brown as well. In fact, I could probably wait a little bit longer, and that would be totally fine as well. But you can actually dig up daffodils and replant them at any time of year except for when they're actively growing and actively flowering. So you definitely don't want to dig up your daffodils between about late winter to mid-spring because that's the time when the daffodil is going to grow, it's going to send leaves up. Those leaves are photosynthesizing, sending energy back into the bulb. The plant is also going to flower at that time. And if you dig up a daffodil when it is flowering or when it has nice leafy green leaves on it, you're just going to shock the plant and it'll take several years to reestablish. You're probably not going to kill it, but it will definitely take a couple of years to recover and your flowering will be affected. So it's best to wait until the plant is dormant. The reason you typically do it, you know, after the plant flowers is because as you can see here, this is a time when you can still see where the daffodils actually are. If you wait until later in the season, you might not know where the plants are. If you do know where they are, go ahead and dig them up in the fall. That's a great time as well. But typically you would do this in the spring, about six weeks to two months after the plants have actually flowered. Okay, and then how do you actually go about dividing your daffodils? Really easy, you just need a digging tool. Any digging tool will do. I happen to like a digging uh, fork or a border fork like this. And a spade works really well for then replanting them, but you can use whatever you want, whatever kind of shovel or even a trowel, it really doesn't matter. This is not a very big clump, but because I divided all of these daffodils about two years ago, there really aren't any big clumps left on this property. But I'm just gonna get in there with a spade, dig down, and just pull them out of the ground like so, and then you know, gently, in combination with lifting on the spade, gently pull them out of the ground like that. And you can see here, this has probably been you know, redivided you know, pretty recently but there's probably, you know, like 20, 20 bulbs here and you just want to kind of gently prise those apart. If you get any like this where you've got, you know, a mother bulb and a daughter bulb, you can just sort of gently break them apart if you want or leave them together, doesn't really matter. And if you get any mushy ones, you just want to discard those. But the small bulbs are fine, they'll all eventually grow, it really doesn't matter. And then you want to make groups of, you know, about five to 10 like this. So this is a clump of uh, six right here. This is totally fine. And now I'm going to go go replant these somewhere else. So daffodils are like any other plant. They really want to be in the ground. You don't want to keep them out of the ground too long. If they dry out, they probably will survive, but it's just something else that's going to shock them. So ideally get them back in the ground as quickly as possible. Uh, and you can just dig any hole. If you're doing this in a bed or a border like this, you can basically take your spade and you can either dig a hole, you can uh, move your spade back and forth like so, or if the ground is hard enough, whoops, dug up some other kind of bulb there. If the ground is hard enough, you can do this T method I was talking about in the last video. This ground isn't really hard enough, so I'll actually show you that when we get to planting daffodils in the lawn. But here, you just want to, you know, do whatever you, whatever it takes, and then just gently set them in and replant them about to where they came out of the ground. So these ones are going to be planted to about here. I think it's normally about three times 
the size of the bulb. So this bulb is, you know, that big, three times that depth to be, you know, maybe about to there. And then just basically set them in and then, you know, do what it takes to recover and gently, or to cover them and then gently, you know, replace the soil around the bulb. Okay, now how to replant daffodils in sod or lawn. This is the part of the last video that got a lot of questions. What you can do is you can make a T-shaped slot in the ground. So take your spade, ideally you'll use a flat, you know, typical spade like this, garden spade. Some people in the US call it shovel spade, but spade like that, force it into the ground, pull it back out, go 90 degrees to that at the top. It's a rock there, put them next to that. Let's see. There we go. And I'll try and show you the reason for making a slot like this is you get a T-shaped opening like this. Basically the turf peels away from where you made your initial cut. And then I've got my prepared daffodils here just like before. This is a, a clump of five. And what you can do is you can simply place them in here. This part of the original cut kind of holds the bulb. The bulb is underneath. I'll show you that up close. So here we go, because I did get a lot of questions about this on the uh, last video. First cut, second cut, lift it with the spade, put the bulbs under here so that the leaves are sticking up, and then just put the soil back. Really simple. And then you just take your foot and you basically just put it all back in place and it looks like you were never there. And then what you want to do is, the aftercare is basically leave this alone, let this continue to photosynthesize, because even though this is quite yellow. This is actually still photosynthesizing and putting energy back into the bulb. So the longer you leave the leaves on daffodils or any bulbs, the better, the more energy is going back into the bulbs, the faster this will recover and the better your display will be next year and in the coming years. Okay, so I hope that kind of made sense to you guys and hopefully that wasn't 25 minutes long. But again, you know, the important thing here is just dig up a clump of daffodils, divide it however you want, Gently pull them apart, shake off that soil, make smaller clumps, clumps of five to 10, make a clump of 20 if you want, it really doesn't matter, but smaller clumps are totally fine. And then just get them back in the ground up to the same depth. But I did wanna show you that uh, T-slot method because I did get so many questions on that and that works really, really well. And then, you know, leave the leaves on there. That's really gonna help. It will take a couple years for the daffodils to really bed in. It's like any other plant. Just because they have bulbs doesn't mean that they're different from any other perennial. But uh, it might take a couple years to really get their flower back. But once they do, once they bed in and you know, grow in a little bit, you'll have much better flowering than you probably did if you dug up a great big congested clump like this. So hopefully that was helpful. Thanks as always for watching. Take care and I hope you have a great rest of your day.